Hi guys, Annie here again. Um, this is a junk, a junk journal that, uh, let me move it up here a little bit, that I made from mostly, almost all of this is from this freebie kit from GI, from G Care, from Happiness and Crafting. Let me show you right here. These were her freebies and they were they were from last year uh, and I printed them out several different pages of them and I didn't I don't know for whatever reason I didn't make anything out of them at that time and I had put them all in a page protector which I do that when I print out freebie stuff because that way I give, can give credit due and I had it all in here for the whole for the whole year and uh, whenever she done this and uh, so I got it out because I just thought it's so pretty and I just decided to make me this kind of grungy junk journal thing out of it and right now I just got a piece of a muslin uh, fabric that's just on it I don't know I may change the closure I I haven't decided, but I wanted to make the video and get this out so I could post it. Anyway, I just put this on it for right now. But I kind of like it on the front because it had a lot of stuff going on. It had a lot of stuff going on on the side right here, and I didn't really want to tie it on the side. But anyway, let's get on with it. Uh, yeah, this was the journal cover, the way it come printed out on my printer. And you can tell there's lots of different links in here. So anyway, I made this the front. And I covered, there's journal under here, but I covered it up with this. And uh, I love the flowers and just some, you know, little, I don't even know if you call this stuff cheese cloths. It's more just like a, a net or something. But anyway, and then I put this, because this was too little. This was a little flower, and this was a tag that was in the, one of the freebies and so I just done that on the front and I sewed this with some just some uh, tea dyed or coffee dyed paper I uh, done quite a bit of sewing in here uh, and this I cut the pieces out there was uh, three different sizes of this fencing in her freebie kit and uh, anyway this was the smaller one you can tell it's it's smaller uh, so and you just cut out each one of them and this is the way I ended up doing it and just made a pocket out of it in in the front and I'm, I remember seeing what other people made but it's been a minute since it was last year last summer or whatever uh, and I just really don't remember but there were such pretty things that they made so like I said, and this was in the kit, the one of the Friday freebies too. All this was. So anyway, I just made a pocket. I just made a little specimen slide, and this was one of just the little square pieces that came in the kit. And I thought, oh, that looked cute. So I just done that. And then here, okay, that's just a paper clip. So let, I can't. I take this off to show you. I take this paper clip off. And then there's a, I just made a paper clip with another one of the little cutouts and stuff on there. Uh, this is a button and it also was in the kit. Um, and I covered it up with a flower and I don't know. Anyway, this was also in there on one of the Friday freebies. I keep saying a kit, but these are Friday Friday freebies and I just fixed that with some some washi tape where it flips up and then underneath is uh, just some cutouts also from the Friday freebies and this this right here see if I've got one is just one of the there is some envelopes that she had put in the Friday freebies let me show it to you there's some envelopes that she had put in there and what I did I cut the sides off left the flap 
and use these two pieces as a page. I'll show you what I did with it. You'll see through the journal what I did with it. But this is, this right here is this piece right here. And I, I just left it. It's intact all the way from here to here. The only cutting I done was I cut these two flaps off right here. That's the only thing I cut off was the two end flaps. But anyway, this is the, the I guess the back piece of it. And I just, like I said, I now this right here was not, it is something I've had for years and years and years in my stash and it's and I just decided to use it right here it worked perfect but this right here was a Friday freebie the button thing and I backed it several different times and I made a pocket out of this side I sewed on another piece of uh, paper and there was these little strips in here that I done and uh, so I made a pocket out of that one one side and I just got some, I just got some tags, some tags in here, a couple of tags. And this will fit right back under the button. And, you know, these little pieces right here, I'll just, you know, go back in there. I'll fix them later. But these are under the paper clip. And you can write. I mean, you can write right here. I, I try to leave a lot of writing space. You can also write on the back of that. You can write on that. Now, I did stamp on that just, just a minute there. and uh, But, yeah, I just had this, uh, the paper clip right here on this, like that. And then I just had that stuck under it. And I just made this out of this plain old paper I had laying around the specimen slide. Now this, now that's the back of that. Now this is a piece of parchment paper that I had. Uh, this right here is just a piece of an old envelope that I put the bird in, which was also in one of her Friday freebies. And there's a pocket right here. So you can just pull that out. And then there's that pretty sunflower underneath it which you don't see it you don't see it when the bird's down but anyway there's a pocket there there's that under there and I just love that picture and there's also there's a pocket here with that in it which you can write on that okay now this is nothing that is strictly just one of the flaps that I cut off for some reason it just looked strange so I thought I'd, it, I'd put that on there and it just made it the whole I don't know just made it look the composition look better but that's the one of the flaps that I cut off right there and this is a tab that I made out of the other flap and doubled it so anyway there's that Turn the other piece, and then this right here opens up. It's just a paper clip, and you can just write in that. It's just like a little booklet, and another one of the paper clips. And this was a piece of the, just a piece of paper that was also in, in one of the Friday freebies. And I just turned it in enough to make, uh, I just sewed and made pockets where you could just put whatever. And this also was in a uh, one of the Friday freebies. Uh, and I put a little ladybug and a little um, a leaf I just tied a little leaf on it I thought these were pretty it kind of was outdoorsy in summer or springy and ladybug and then uh, this was kind of like I don't know it's a pocket and I put these in it and just layered some of the other pieces. And I think this started out life as an envelope. Just a, yeah, just an old envelope that I made. And anyway, uh, that's what I ended up doing. I sewed it and everything. And uh, this is one of the pictures out of the Friday Freebie. And like I said, I made the pocket. And uh, then over here, this was in there and some of the butterflies. Now these, these right here, some of this stuff is out of my stash. 
one of these, but I think the other two pieces are in there. And this will open up for you. And you can write in there, and it just tucks back up under the under the butterfly. And there's a pot. Is there a pocket? Yeah, there's a pocket right here with just a, you know, just a piece of uh, paper in it that you can write on. It just tucks back in there. And then this opens up, which this booklet you can't. It's both the same on both sides. Uh, was in part of the Friday Freebies, but you can open it up, and I've done some stamping, and you can, of course, write in there. That's what I meant for you to do. And then also, the tag is glued to the, the tag is glued to the top of the envelope right here. This is the back half. Or the front, I guess I should say the front of the envelope. And uh, I glued this tag to it. I got a lot of use out of that, that uh, flap on that envelope. I glued the tag to it. And then I glued the uh, this little book to it. And so I, you know, I got all that out of that, that one flap. I, I got myself a lot of, a lot of real estate. And then... Also in the flap, which you can't see now because, well, a little bit. I also took these papers. There's not much. I think there's like four pieces. And I sewed them in the in the crease on the flap and the envelope. And here's the back or the front. This is the front of this, of the envelope. So I got my use out of the envelope. I, I feel like I really got a lot of real estate out of that. Uh, and then... Turn it over here, and of course here here you can see the front side of the envelope. Some tickets, and I just, this is I think a piece I just stamped. And then there's another one of these little envelopes in here that's got a little tab on it. And you just open it up and you can write in it or whatever you want to do. Put pictures or whatever. It's a couple of pieces of paper that was out of the one of the freebies I just had left and I made tags. And then a little cluster, uh, the writing space, and I guess you could tuck a little something under here. Um, and then on the back, of course, I stamped it, and then I put a pocket, and I just another just little uh, piece of uh, of the one of the freebies that I had left. So, and then like I said, it's a very it's got lots of layers in it, but I just thought it turned out really cute. And I think it's got a lot of, to be so small, I feel like it's got a lot of writing space. But anyway, I just wanted to share that with you guys. And thank you very much. And leave me a comment and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.